I just wanted to do something different. I'd seen a picture of two girls looking into the cockpit of a Phantom aircraft and I thought, oh, well, that looks interesting, I'll do that. A family friend already worked here. I applied for the apprenticeship and here I am 19 years later. It can be difficult, yeah, it can be a bit of a challenge. I'd say getting your voice heard can be hard and fighting back against the stereotypes. When I entered the hangar on my um, training still, I was the youngest person in the hangar and most certainly the youngest female. So um, given the fact there was only two others in the hangar at the time, it was, it was difficult. It's quite a shock to the system when you're not used to being in that sort of environment. I think most people are as accepting as they can be, but sometimes there's long-held beliefs which aren't necessarily challenged and aren't necessarily noticed. When you start focusing in on them, they become more obvious. Um, but on the whole, people are really accepting. Possibly it's seen as a, a physically demanding job, whereas, yes, we can be physically limited, but there are ways around things. Our strength is not our physical strength, it's mental strength, it's having a sense of humour and realising sometimes things go wrong and being able to overcome those, those things and working a way around it. You know, there's, there's always stuff you can't do, which you then get left out of certain jobs a little bit because you just can't get involved because you're not physically big enough and strong enough. Um, but there's other stuff and you'll get a shout, can you give me a hand with this because my hand won't fit or I can't get in there or you can, you know, you're small enough to do it. And, and it's, so in that way, it's, it's quite nice. You feel a little bit needed as well. You know, engineer is not just about being big and strong. A sense of humour and confidence is key. Just being able to do things, not being afraid to ask for help. I have seen women go the other way. It's hard when you're in the minority. You can be so focused on proving yourself um, that you forget to ask for help and forget that there are things that you don't know. I think doing that um, and just believing in yourself. You are just as good as the male engineers, of course you are, and you do deserve to be there. 